Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and the October TBR. Um, I'm wearing this spooky top because it just seems a little bit fitting for the month of October. So we didn't have enough time to film at this TBR because I need to be out of the house in like 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to be doing a very, very slightly different method. Um, there isn't prompts in here, there are raffle tickets. So for anyone who doesn't I'm sure you do, but that's what I mean. Um, so one is on some of the books and then the other is in here. I haven't done all of the books because I've just got too many. Yeah, so it's mainly the ones in front. I know you can't really see. Let me try and move this curtain. That works out a little bit better. The heating has just turned on, so if you hear any kind of odd creak, that's what it is. I definitely need a haircut. Yeah. Maybe only like an inch, but it's getting a bit too long for me. Um, but yeah. So as I was saying, it's these front ones here, these ones here, there's the odd one in the back, um, and then there's a couple hardbacks on the bottom. These aren't included, but wherever books I pick out, I might not obviously read them. Um, that was certainly the case for September's TBR where have I read any of them yet? Um, currently at this point I've started one. Um, so that's kind of telling. But I have read a lot this month, just not my TBR. And you will understand that when I come to film my reading wrap up. So let's pop this jar open. And I can't actually get my fingers in here. So despite the fact that my hands are small, and trust me they are, small oh no i can get my hands in just when i get them out again sort of i have one also they look in order so i actually don't know which book is based off of which number 19 which one is number 19 scythe by neil schusterman this is a sci-fi Basically, no one in this world can die, but people can kill people to kind of keep the natural order of the world going. Um, and basically, it's following people who are to be apprentice scythes. Um, and then are told, yeah, you kind of, one of you has got to kill the other. This is interesting. I don't read too much sci-fi, um, so it'll be exciting to see. How I get on with this one. Let's pick up book number two and let's bring them a little closer. One seven five. Although I'm pretty sure I have that amount on my TBR at this point, but hey ho. I've packed them too tightly here. one seven five let's split up by bill wood i'm just gonna leave these numbers on here for now um i literally bought this like two days ago maybe three um this is i want to say it's like probably ya um it's a ya i want to say crime thriller um so currently both of these are perfect for the month of october um Literally, it's called Let's Split Up, and it says famous last words with a killer on the loose. Um, so yeah, crime thriller. I imagine it's YA because it says New Girl Buffy. Um, it's Cam Jonesy, Amber, and New Girl Buffy, and that kind of feels like YA. That just makes me think YA. I literally picked it up from the works. Um, for a fiver with the stenciled edges. Um, I'd seen this on Facebook. Thought let's pick this up sorry i was checking the time i thought let's pick this up it's on the shorter side just over like 330 pages just over 334 but the text seems on this slightly let me get towards the start seems on the slightly bigger side um so maybe it won't take me as long to get through Let's pick up book number three. Are we going to go for six? Let's go for six because I have an honorary book. Let's go for the honorary book. Let's mention it. Um, Happy Place by Emily Henry. Um, I am going on holiday 
during the month and so I feel like this is really the perfect one. I've already read Beach Read. I've already read um, You and Me on Vacation. I haven't read, read Book Lovers yet. I would have read them, read them in order and I might still read Book Lovers first. But Happy Place just kind of feels like the perfect one for going on holiday. Um, so there's my honorary mention. So technically I'll have seven books on my TBR, but I'm only picking out six in this video. Um, yeah. But anyway, let's pick out the third raffle ticket. Oh, there's two there. <clears throat> 168. I feel like 168 was one of these ones. Nope, that was. And then I'm gonna stop. Haha, <laughs> I know I'd seen it right at the start. Um, so I had a mix. I didn't just have like spooky related books on here. Um, but 168 is Wild Love by LC Silver. I partly wanted to get to it in the month of September. Um, obviously didn't. Um but I'm excited. I do own Wild Eyes, um, so I can kind of jump straight into the second book. Um, but maybe I should wait because obviously I know the third book doesn't come out till like early next year. I'm gonna say maybe like February or something. So maybe it would be good to hold off on the second book, but I definitely want to pop into the series. I've read the Chestnut Springs series and the Gold Rush Ranch series. I definitely preferred the um, Chestnut Ranch, uh, Chestnut Hill series um, more than the Gold Rush Ranch, um, but I preferred the spice of the Gold Rush Ranch. I think the Chestnut Springs just had the found family that I really enjoyed, apart from in book number five, which was my least favourite of the series. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get to this one. So that's book number three. I've got three more to go. Number 10. I just start with this middle row because it's the one that I packed last. I feel like number 10 is on here. Maybe it's not. Number 10, Ali Carter, number one, I'd tell you I love you, but then I'd have to kill you. Um, I picked this up from 66, did I? Yes, I picked this up from 66 books. I want to say it was back in December. Yeah, because I didn't buy it this previous time. I got it from 66 books. I'd seen it hanging about as like the whole series in TK Maxx once. Ooh. They are just a bit ripped by well, that's probably just me. It says Gallagher Academy isn't a school for geniuses, it's a school for spies. Um, and it says Cammy Morgan might be capable of killing a man in seven way seven different ways, but she's about to begin her most dangerous mission yet, falling in love. This just seemed interesting, and I bought book one because I didn't want to buy that whole like series that I saw um that one time at TK Maxx. On the, the shorter side, so again, just over 300 pages, like 309. Um, and again, the text seems on that slightly bigger side, um, so might not be as, might not take as quick to go through. And it seems like there is some kind of level of, th it's, I was gonna say thriller esque. I don't know what this is classified as, but I'm sure. There's some parts that are thriller. Um, but this was originally published in 2012. And but this one was published, like this edition was 2016. Um, so that is book number four. Two more. Number 12. We seem to be getting a lot of these grey ones. Book two is middle row. Number 12, and we have, I love how all the ones have ended up literally being this middle row. Um, but this book is What Lies Beyond the Veil by Harper L. Woods. This is, I love how I never said what Wild Love was about. Basically it's a single dive romance. I don't know too much else. So, and Happy Place is 
where a couple like who were engaged are splitting up but it's like the final summer in this house before this house is sold um so they have to fake kind of i guess fake dates but obviously they've already like dated and like they've just got to fake still being in a relationship but yeah so this book is a fantasy it says for 400 years the veil has protected humans from the fae safe behind their walls humanity has turned from the old religion to the new gods basically the main character has been pruned to be like for marriage um and then this lord murders his wife so that he can marry this girl and she can either accept or be sacrificed and then on the night that she's due to be sacrificed it sh the veil shatters and it unleashes the fae and finds her and basically she's kind of torn between two where the fae want her but these normal people don't like the humans won't let them have her um also i love how this is quite floppy um i do own book two in the series as well so i can go into book two but this just seems interesting again it feels like it's a bigger text i don't know why um but there is like 400 pages in this book like almost 430 but yeah as you can see can you see that flop beautiful and that was what book number five one two book number five so final final book and i've got seven minutes remaining so look at me being like all good um there's two here let's go for a red one because we've had so many gray <sighs> you know i had these remaining from like year eight when we had to do this like christmas thing um at school and um, my form we did like a raffle thing and i just I didn't even pay for these raffle tickets. School did. Like they gave us a tenner and we're like, buy all the supplies you need. So we bought sweets. We, cause they made up like bags of sweets. And then we must've done like a raffle as well. I don't know what we did, but I just ended up with these. Um, so I'm trying to use them up. Anyway, so final number 165, we can tell you now, this is on this row. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to do this again. Um, oh my god, it's not one tap right. <laughs> I have been proven wrong. We like to see me proven wrong. It's on the chat, right? We haven't even touched. Granted, there's only like four on here. Um, but 165 is. City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. So another fantasy. We have a nice mix um, in the like six books we chose. This is an urban fantasy. Um, and because the main, main character sees vampires in Brooklyn, werewolves in Manhattan. Um, and she's drawn to the shadow hunters who want to rid the world of demons. Um, and she sees the dark side and the dangers of forbidden love um yeah i know that this series is loved by many again it's a big textbook obviously it's not a textbook like we know it's not a textbook um but there is big text in this book there is a bigger text in this book and it's 510 pages but i'm thinking with how big the so there's the forward that's how big the text is i'm thinking with how big how many times can i say how big the text is um it might probably be closer to the like 400 page mark like in like a traditional book but those are the six oh we're about to have a fall on our hands um but those are the six books i have chosen plus happy place which is the one that's blue sprayed edges Ugh. so we have Oh my gosh. We have City of Bones. What lies beneath the veil or whatever it's called. Ali Carter, book one. Um, Wild Love. Happy Place. Oh 
don't split up no let's split up and so by neil schusterman i don't know why i used i only said his surname and not everyone else's um because we've got bill wood emily henry elsie silver i can't remember this author's name or this one and this is cassandra claire um but that those are the books that i have chosen for this two year i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what books you are wanting to read this month um and what are the methods you want me to do with picking my tbr because as you can see i did have a range like i had some stephen king i had light luck i had butcher and blackbird i had the serpent and the rings of night i had the inheritance games i had at least the jewel book i had wildfire i might still get to that um i had cinderella is dead morbid the yours belladonna listen for the lie which is mm, very popular recently like i picked this up maybe like two months ago but no it'd be more it'd be more like four and it's all of a sudden just become really popular i have the north wind i have a anthony horowitz book i have only just found out about the whole controversy on him i have say you swear on here i had yours freaking truly i might still get to this though i won't lie i'm so excited I said Dance of Thebes and everything. Um, I even had The Perfect Couple by Ellen Hildebrand. Because I saw it in Asda. Not Asda. I saw it in Sainsbury's and was like, oh my god, this is the first time I've seen an Ellen Hildebrand book in my life, in person. Oh my god, I need to buy. And that is what I absolutely did. Um, where does this energy come from? I absolutely don't know. I've not ate the greatest. Bag of freaking skips and a banana and of course this is how my mind goes and a little bit of caffeine and i say that in terms of pepsi freaking max because that is my drink of choice um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you want to see from the next video reading challenge whatnot anything that can include these books or different books whatever let me know and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys what the hell is my energy today